Fool me once, fool me twice Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you ever get it right? Wait. How long will I let this lie? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside Wait about a curb, too upset to drive you Get no money This is Eric Grayson, where grace begins with you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Today, I have a fun, um, you know, kind of throwback, us remembering when we had those um, childhoods where we would play with our dolls, Barbie edition, <laughs> or we, you know, just what would Barbie wear if she had a fragrance to pick and I picked out some fragrances that I thought would be fun flirty you know now that Barbie has you know you know got a lot of diversity and just you know all inclusive for everyone to feel special about having a Barbie doll I thought and the movie is right around the corner if it's not coming out tomorrow so I've been seeing a commercial so I thought to myself what would be a better video than have a video uh, you know of our great childhood times when we play all played with Barbies what are you know what our Barbie if we had a Barbie what would she wear as a fragrance so before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to share. Please don't forget to like everyone because it helps me with the algorithms and pushes my video. You know, YouTube will push my video forward. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't forget to share fragrances because I was very excited about doing this video because I have some fabulous fragrances that I could see specifically Barbie wearing. And the first one I have is one of my loves that comes from a great house, Oriana by Perfumes de Marley. Let me give you notes because you know I love notes. Mandarin orange, bergamot, grapefruit. The middle notes are orange blossom, raspberry, blurt currant. The base notes are whipped cream, marshmallow, musk, and ambre. It's a sweet citrus, fruity, powdery, vanilla, white floral, musky fragrance. Now, what Barbie wouldn't want to wear this fragrance? It's sweet, it's marshmallow, it's citrus, it's beautiful whipped cream, a little musky. It has that underlining DNA of Delina and it's just fun. It's flirty. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, delightful, juicy scent to me. And I would definitely see my Barbie, especially because of that pink vibe, that pink color bottle just screams Barbie. And this one is Oriana by Perfumes de Marley. A good one, lasts forever. You'll get great projection. The next one I have is a new one to my collection, but I definitely see Barbie wearing this one. I definitely see me wearing this one <laughs> oh so much that I need a backup bottle now if it wasn't um, if it was in stock because right now it's okay. Kay Ali Silk Santels 36 the from the wedding collection by Kay Ali let's get into the notes the top notes are champagne freshia black currant the middle notes are praline nectarine jasmine orange blossom and may rose the base notes are sugar, vanilla, sandalwood, amber wood, musk, and oak moss. It's a sweet vanilla, woody, powdery, fruity, floral, amber, champagne, white floral fragrance. Now, if you watch my K. Ali video for these fragrances, you know that I said that this fragrance reminded me of Vanilla Royale. Like, I could smell that cream brulee in this fragrance. 
fragrance. It has that nectarine, it's sweet, it has a little bit of that praline, and it's ever changing. Just a beautiful fragrance that I would see Barbie wearing. It's, you know, to me, it gives a few hours of wear, three, four, five hours. Initial spray into the dry down, and then once it dries down, it's just interchanging and changing. It's just a lovely, lovely scent. This one would be another favorite of Barbie's, and this one is K. Ali's The Wedding Silk Santel 36. Next one I have for you, beauties, is the another great and one. spicy and kind of Barbie, and it has again that beautiful pink bottle. This one, the notes are pink pepper, saffron, bergamot, royal lily. The middle notes are Bulgarian rose, made rose, vanilla orchid, magnolia. The base notes are sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and musk. It's a rose, warm, spicy, soft, spicy, floral, woody, musky, powdery, metallic, sweet, amber fragrance. This one is sweet and a little spicy. And it has that pink pepper in it. It gives it a little bit of spice but not overly spicy. Like, a, you know, like that pink pepper kind of just gives you a little kick. This will be a beautiful um, Barbie scent for that little time she want to be out at night or something spicy and on a date. This one would be a great sweet and spicy type of scent. It lasts on me for a long time and it projects very well. I love this one, Sweet Diamond. Did I say it? Did I tell you the name? Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper <laughs> 25 by K. Ali. The next fragrance that I have for you beauties would definitely have to be in Barbie's collection. And I know she went Blue 540 X Straight, their perfume by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. It's a bitter almond type of saffron, Egyptian jasmine, cedar, and the base notes are ambergris, woody notes, and musk. It's amber, woody, almond, warm, spicy, animalic, nutty, musky, fruity, metallic, white floral fragrance. This one is just got that almond, the sweetness, almost like cotton candy, but in a, in a kind of sophisticated way. Not so much, but in a sophisticated kind of high-end way. Just gives you, and I get a lot of compliments. So I know Barbie would get a lot of compliments with this fragrance. Because people will stop me all the time. And I think it's because of that almond and saffron. saffron and it's a little different than the original. But if I had to choose, I would definitely choose the extreme version. I have both, but I love this one a little more. And I believe that Barbie would love this one a little more as well. It's a beautiful scent, and I'm quite sure she'd have it in her collection. And that one was Baccarat Rouge 540, the extreme version. One that I know Barbie would definitely have and definitely wear in um, definitely have in her collection and definitely wouldn't do without Coco Mademoiselle by Perfume by Chanel. Let me give you the notes. The top notes are bergamot, orange, grapefruit. The middle notes are rose, lychee, and jasmine. And the base notes are patchouli, vanilla, musk, and vetiver. It's a citrus, woody, patchouli, rose, fresh, spicy, earthy, aromatic, white, floral, vanilla, fruity fragrance. This one screams Barbie. The bottle alone says this is going to be in Barbie's collection <laughs> or a fragrance that Barbie will wear. It is a coat, it's a, it's a citrus, a little fruity type of DNA for Chanel. Any of those fragrances that you get from Chanel, they all kind of have that underlying effervescent type of feel. And you know they're from the Chanel brand, Chanel collection, the luxury 
this one is more of a crowd pleaser more um it was more focused to get towards the masses and the, i think too to try to pull in the younger generation but it still lingers chanel so it has that patchouli it has that rose it's just a fragrance that i know barbie would love love to wear especially when she's getting all dressed up this would be a um barbie favorite this one is coco mademoiselle by chanel Crystal beauties is definitely one that i know um barbie will wear i had to spray it before <laughs> i put it on display girls because this one is just Lust a noir rose for her by Narciso Rodriguez. And let me give you the notes. The top notes are plum, pink pepper, bergamot. The middle notes are musk, rose, and tuberose. And the base notes is vanilla. It's a musky, fruity, vanilla, sweet, powdery rose, tuberose, white floral, soft, spicy, animalic fragrance. This one is just a jammy rose. Oh my goodness. I haven't sprayed this in a while, but I know just looking at the bottle that this would be a Barbie favorite or a fragrance that Barbie would definitely wear. It's girly, it's feminine, it screams Barbie. It's pink, <laughs> it's rose, and it's jammy rose, so it's just a tad bit sweet. This is just a beautiful, soft, feminine now it gets projection and it has longevity on my skin it's very long lasting great sillage with this fragrance people around you will smell it and this is a beautiful even a to me it can go during the day into the night so barbie can have it on in the daytime and i'm quite sure it would carry her into the night just as well and be just a beautiful beautiful fragrance I've talked about this in another video. I'll try to link it below. But this one is on my in my top 10 favorite. And I know it will be a great one for Barbie. And this one is Mascara Rose for her by Narciso Rodriguez. Beautiful bottle too. I love the simple bottles. Last but not least. And this one I couldn't leave out. Because... We know that Barbie loves, let me just get one spray, guys, loves, and you probably can guess what it is. We know, I'm not going to, I'm going to even give you a little hint. We know that Barbie loves heels, <laughs> and it's by some of the um, trailers I see that that's one of the things they talk about her heels so we know she's out to here with that beautiful bottle and this one is good girl this year by carolina herrera let me get into the notes the top notes because this one is last but definitely not least the top notes are sicilian lemon apple cedar bellflower the middle notes are bamboo jasmine and white white rose and the base notes are cedar musk and amber it's a sweet latonic white floral woody citrus amber warm spicy fragrance and that it is this one is such a good great classy fragrance even the bottle, you get that lactonic, you get that white floor, you get the citrus, it's a little sweet. It's just, it's just sophisticated. And it comes in this bottle to give you that classy kind of sophistication. Great to wear during the day. This is another fragrance that's great to wear during the day and can definitely um, take you into the evening with no problem because the citrus is bright and light and then if you want to wear it at night you get that type of latonic feel so the night air can definitely um you know you, you won't feel like it's too heavy this is just a beautiful remarkable pretty type of fragrance I don't think it's an everyday fragrance but I really think it's a special occasion Barbie type of fragrance like Barbie with those pretty dress up 
um, going out for the evening or somewhere for a nice, you know, expensive brunch or, you know, a lovely luxury type, outdoorsy type of um, function. And this one is Good Girl Legere by Carolina Herrera. And that's all I have for you for my Barbie. What would Barbie wear? Put in the comments what you think your Barbie would wear. I think it's a fun, flirty type of video. Something that would bring us back to some of our childhood memories. That who didn't have a Barbie? <laughs> So before you go, so I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Before you go, please don't forget to like, comment. Definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to share. And absolutely don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more great content. And I'll see you again soon, everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Bye-bye.